Okay, this is an instructional video on proper installation and removal of the crumb tray on the WeCreate machine. Um, for this video, I have gone ahead and I have removed the uh, burn tray, or the rack on the bottom of the machine. Uh, this is what it looks like with the uh, crumb tray in it. If you want to remove the trum tray in the middle, there's a handle, but you got to pick up slightly on the machine and start to pull it out, and you'll find the handle. Once you find the handle, you can pull the crum tray out, dump it, clean it, do whatever you got to do to it. Um, but then when you put it in, that's where most people have um, problems or issues. Um, if you don't install it right, you're going to notice more smoke and more odor start coming out of the machine. Um, if you just lay up underneath the machine and, and do it that way, you're going to need a little more odor. On the tray, there's a lip here, all the way around on the back and front of the side of the machine. And then on the inside of the machine, there's a lip there. And there's the one on the front has got felt rubber felt on the back of it. Uh, and then there's a place here where it goes underneath here. But these rails here on either side, when they get to the front, there's a little gap on the front. And it's a little bit lower than the front rail. And it's a channel for the, the tr corn tray to get in. So if you lay the tray under the front of the machine, and then you kind of rock it back a little bit, you can find where that little gap is on the front of the machine. I'm doing it one-handed. This angle comes up. But you find where it's at. You get both sides on top. And when both sides are on top, it slides in like a drawer all the way in to the back. And what that does is that eliminates any air gaps on the sides and on the front. It leaves a little bit here in the back, but that's required because that's, that's where the air gets sucked in. Most of it gets sucked in up into the machine, and then it runs around and goes out the exhaust fan in the back. It's imperative that you keep this tray clean. Um, the laser, when you're cutting something here, will get down to the tray on the bottom. If you got little bitty pieces in there, the smaller the pieces, the more chance of it doing it. Um, as with any laser, follow uh, manufacturer's recommendations, but small stuff can catch fire. So make sure you keep something close by and I always keep an eye on it. Don't let, turn it on or walk away from it. Um, just some helpful hints on how to do it. That helps too.